On today's episode, we're going to look at free cash flow. Is it going to be like the movie Free Willy? Yes, it's going to be a tearjerker, Jen. On today's episode of Fun Finance, we're going to look at another commonly discussed but rarely defined financial metric, and that is free, free cash, cash flow. flow. Beside me is Jen Nicholson, a many-time finance executive. And you are Blair Cook, finance guru extraordinaire. And I do love the finance. He sure does. So I'm going to let you get us started on today's discussion. Tell us about free cash flow. Well, to begin with, it's not a measure defined by any accounting standards. That's kind of odd, given its importance to financial stakeholders, don't you think? I agree. Free cash flow is a measure of how much cash is left over at the end of the year and is available for distribution to financial stakeholders of the business. You referenced financial stakeholders. Is this the same thing as shareholders? Well, sometimes it is. It really depends on whether you are calculating free cash flow before financing costs or after. If it's after, we've paid our lenders, then yes, free cash flow would be the cash available to shareholders. Companies can choose to distribute that cash as a dividend. Or buy back their shares on the market if they are publicly traded or retain that cash to reinvest in the existing business. Or acquire other businesses. Sounds like a pretty important number to know. So why isn't it on the face of the financial statements? The trouble is few people agree on what should be included and it can get obscured. Give me some examples of why it's so difficult. Well, for one, free cash flow needs to remove the capital expenditures required to sustain operations. However, distinguishing between sustaining capital expenditures from those that are incurred to grow the business is a distinction that's not contemplated by any accounting standards. And the lumpiness of debt repayments between periods can also obscure the amount of cash as a company leverages and deleverages its balance sheet. I'm impressed, Jen. More than just a pretty face. So one of the companies I've been involved with actually includes free cash flow in its management discussion and analysis as a key performance indicator. How do you define it? Free cash flow is defined as cash flow from operating activities from continuing operations less net capital expenditures from continuing operations. Very exciting. But because you define it, it's possible that it's not directly comparable against how other, another company may define and measure free cash flow. Yes, you're correct. In fact, if I were to look at this calculation from a, a theoretical perspective, it's making one important assumption. Can you identify that assumption, Jen? Are you kidding? <laughs> Go ahead and show up. Well, cash flow from operating activities includes after-tax interest costs, but there's no provision for the repayment of debt in this definition. So? So the assumption is that debt can be refinanced to maintain a constant capital structure. Right over my head. I told you, I love the finance. Okay, give us a formula and let's close off this episode before my head explodes. You got it. Free cash flow should be calculated by beginning with EBITDA, adding and subtracting and incremental amounts uh, invested in working capital, less cash taxes paid, less sustaining capital expenditures. But I don't see the interest costs in here. Well, this is what we would call unlevered free cash flow. It represents the cash available to all financial stakeholders, including both the shareholders and the lenders. How is that useful? It's useful because it eliminates the noise of the changing capital structure as debt is issued and repaid. And to make this relevant to a shareholder? Subtract off the after-tax cost of interest and the scheduled debt repayments. This would be levered free cash flow then? You got it. Okay, I'm cutting this discussion off right here. Viewers can leave a comment if they have any questions. Of course, we always want to encourage viewer participation. We hope to include some of those comments in future episodes. So is that all for today, Jen? Done and done. Until next time. Bye now.